What's up guys, this is your D Fit Tip of the Day, and what today's video is going to be about is calves. Some, some theories that I have on calves, on how to get them bigger, why I believe I don't have big, big calves, and just, I'm going to give y'all some examples of, uh, just overall, how I think is the best way you can do about going about growing your calves. So, I'm going to give y'all three examples of some people who have decent sized calves that I've seen, you know, walked around in everyday life. Number one is people who have played sports for a... Uh, a big length of time you know think football players rugby players and soccer players so particularly the sports that you use a lot of uh, lower body on now those people not don't just have big calves in general I mean I mean specifically they have big quads and hamstrings and glutes as well that's another story entirely but the, number one so people who play sports use a lot of lower body time under tension you know the more you work out or train in a specific body part whether that be on the field on the court or in the gym you're going to get that bigger result you know number two genetics i've known people who 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 have always had decent sized calves haven't stepped foot on the field haven't stepped foot on the court haven't stepped foot on uh any done any type of intense training but naturally have big calves you know uh that's just genetics you know nothing you can you can do about genetics you know that's just like height some people you don't have to earn height you know so that's just something that you're born with you know and number three based on what i've seen are people that have been overweight for a long period of time now that makes sense right the people that have been overweight for a long period of time have had to basically hold their bodies up and your body is going to adapt to whatever stimulus that you're putting it through you know so your calves actually have to get bigger so that leads us to the type of uh workout plan that i would say when growing your calves now keep in mind i'm not the best one to, <laughs> to talk about this because you can't say people now now some people need to cut this out of uh saying all oh, because you don't have I can't even, it's, the camera is low, all because you don't have big calves don't mean you don't have big quads and hamstrings or you don't, you don't train legs. That couldn't be further from the truth. I've known a lot of people, even here in the YouTube fitness scene, who have trained legs for a long period of time. Alone, even I've trained legs, trained them heavy. I'm not talking about body weight squats. I'm talking about heavy front squats with weight, using weight that is well over my body weight, you know. I do that all the time, deadlifts and things like that. You know, and that's where it kicks back to the genetics. You know, there are people that even train longer than me and still have small calves. And that's going to depend on your muscle belt. It's just like, just like my bicep. How it goes straight up here. You notice some people's biceps start up around here. And they have like a ball where mine goes straight to the bone. Same thing with calves in my opinion. It's all genetics, you know. Genetics. People that have been overweight, you know. They've been training their calves heavy for years. And people who've played sports. So that's my opinion on calves. If you're gonna to try to make them bigger, try it, try it your own thing. And I think the best thing to do would be to, to do some type of heavy lower body training. And yeah, I guess you can do all the calf raises you, you want, but I have not seen that work for the majority amount of people. So that's just my opinion on them.